So here is the base station for my sous vide low temperature water circulation immersion cooker thing. Uh, this is the station that monitors the temperature and fires off a relay which powers this outlet and it will power eventually three uh, immersion water heaters. Uh, single serving of the type used to heat like single serving cups of tea or just make water hot for I guess cup of noodles or something. Anyway, so we've got that. We've got one kilowatt here which I'm just going to use to see the uh, change in power consumption. Uh, for this test we have one aquarium pump we have one immersion heater configured inside of a path of water here. And we're going to give it a go. So first we will plug in the kilowatt. It shows we have 124 volts to this outlet. Switch it over to monitor the average. And plug in our device. Still a little zero amps being used. Turn it on. It says that it's a PT100 input. The range of 400 degrees to zero degrees Celsius is configured on it. Right now it's complaining about not having temperature sensor attached, so we'll go ahead and attach our PT100 temperature monitor. Reporting about 24 degrees Celsius in here. So we'll take that. And submerge that in the water as well. The water is 30-ish inclining. So now, plug in the water pump so we can get some water flow going. We have movement. Looks like the water is stable at about 31 and a half degrees Celsius. Now we'll take and plug in our water heater. We plug it into the relay controlled outlet. We should have heat being applied to the water now. And we'll just watch. Now with three of them in there, the water temperature will climb a lot quicker. Hopefully. <laughs> Showing about 2.43 amps being used currently, 2.41. And it is heating right now. You can see the light there is lit up for out one, which means that the relay is on. The water is warming up a bit, it looks like. Just let that go for a little bit.
might be here a while, so let's lower the temperature that it's trying to reach. So on the bottom there is the temperature that's set, and the top number is the read the red temperature, the one that is getting from the temperature sensor that we have plugged into the top of the device. You can also see that it just triggered the the relay off and back on. So you can see on the right here we have a 10 amp uh, thermal circuit breaker. Um, we were reading about 2.36, 2.37 amps for each of the immersion water heaters. You see it's cycling on and off there for the, the temperature. So it's about 2.36, 2.37 amps per water heater. So three of those is about 7.11 amps. Um, I was intending to plug the pump into it, so I gave myself another couple amps for that. It's probably way overkill. I'd be surprised if it's one amp usage on that water pump. But Fry's only sold 7 amp or 10 amp uh, circuit breakers, so I went with a 10. So it sounds like what it's doing is it knows that it's getting closer. So it's kind of gradually trying to pull it up instead of pulling it right to and then shooting past. That's why it must be clicking on and off like that. Actually trying to heat up quite a lot of water for this one heater. This is a bit less than the amount of water that I would use all three of them to heat up with. We're getting real close here. Let's see what it starts doing. So we're at 34. We asked for 34. Now it should just be maintaining 34 degrees Celsius. Obviously when we cook with it, we will cook with a lot more. So as it cycles on and off, the power usage does correlate. Just turned off. Just kick back on. All right. Thanks for taking a look.